Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Human Humane Architecture in lieu of Hurricane Lane. <laughs> we are broadcasting live from still sort of safe, uh, the uh, tropical tiki headquarters of Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, talking tiki, for that, we have a very special guest in the event who is someone who is very familiar to us, and that's our every other week's co host, DeSoto Brown. That's, Hello, DeSoto. That is me. And you said this is the tiki capital, but you know, that's a really good point because one of the points that we've been just talking about is we think of tiki culture and the entire popularity of tiki, Hawaiian, tropical, exotica, as having its roots here, but mm -hmm. in fact, it, there's not much left. This All is right. a mid-century thing, right. which has tapered off a great deal. So let's dive into that, bring the first picture up. Yeah. And you are heavily scholarly engaged in that subject and have Absolutely. just been a keynote speaker on what? Well, I went to an event called Tiki Oasis, and that is located in San Diego, and it happens every year. And every year there's a different theme. This year it was South Sea Cinema. But the entire point is to celebrate this, this tiki culture, as I was mentioning, of the tropical exoticism that mm -hmm. was popular in the mid-century of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of things go on in Tiki, cult in, uh, tiki Oasis. And I can talk to you about some because I took pictures of some of these and things. Thank you, thank you. Let's bring the next slide here uh, where we see there is a couple of events indoors and outdoors. Yep. But we first want to focus on what we see is the symposiums. Yep. And let's go to the next page already here that shows you and your audience yes. at your two talks that Correct. you had. Correct. But we also want to talk about your peers and their talks, which some are featured here. That's, I did these sort of screenshots, snapshots yeah. of the program. Right. And I was surprised that many of them had, in one way or another, to do with us here in Hawaii, right? Yes, and they also talked a lot about architecture. Mm -hmm. So they talked about tropical or exotic styles of architecture, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. We're going to be touching on a great deal this time. Mm -hmm. uh, the way the tiki culture or the exotic culture spread to a lot of different places, including Europe, mm -hmm. as you personally mm -hmm. experienced. Mm -hmm. So those are the many types of things that come up within this concept of tiki. Yeah, yeah. And not only in the realm of architecture, but also in the realm of movies. Yeah. That's the next picture here. That's just another screenshot of one of the talks here, Hollywood icons of tiki cinema. And once again, here's someone who looks very familiar to us, and we ran a show about Hawaii mm -hmm. Five O. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Again, Tiki is very closely associated with our place here. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And next page is, and you, th this made you laugh yeah. uh, because I was spelling this taboo, and I shared with you that I, for the longest time until now, thought this was a German <laughs> word, but maybe not so much. No, it's not. <laughs> it is a Polynesian word, and there are many different Polynesian languages, and Hawaiian is one of mm -hmm, them, mm -hmm. and in Hawaiian the word is kapu, mm -hmm. but in other Polynesian languages it's tabu. Mm -hmm. So that's not a German word. Mm -hmm. It actually comes from the Pacific. Oh boy. Yeah, and but that is a German film. You're yep. right, it was directed by a German mm -hmm. film mm -hmm. director. 1930, 31, mm -hmm. 32. And that topic is obviously touches on the erotic of it the exotic. It certainly does. Very much. Yes, and there's a spin off that is the next page, which is uh, the burlesque, That's right? right. Yeah. And this is part of this whole thing. Um, it's a revival of lots of different mm -hmm. things that were going on in the 20th century. So burlesque, mm -hmm. striptease, but mm -hmm. of that old fashioned style. Mm -hmm. And then there were go go dancers, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I was very excited about. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. 60s go go mm -hmm. dancers. Mm -hmm. and they existed mm -hmm. at Tiki Oasis as well. Yeah. And we're missing out on another genre, which is music. You you just mentioned called it yeah. Exotica, and there yeah. was a music movement that we there talked about in was. many shows. Yes. There's Don Tiki, who is trying to keep that That's alive. Right. Right? That's right. But let's get the curve and get back to architecture, Correct. which you promised. The yes. next page 
you're going to share with us the locations, and yeah. one of the two locations is this one here, right? Right. So in San Diego, there are a number of tiki-themed original 50s buildings. Mm -hmm. One of them is a restaurant called the Bali High. I had to, the pleasure of having dinner there. Mm -hmm. It no longer looks the way it did in the 50s, mm -hmm. but also in the same location, which is called Shelter Island, which is a boat marina, there are other very dramatic tiki-themed restaurants mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, hotels located there mm -hmm. as well in addition to the whole tell mm -hmm. that I stayed mm -hmm. at for this event. And the little reference I made at the very top here is when I flew back over Christmas last yeah, time, I got right. stranded that's right. at the other end of the West Coast, up there in Seattle, yeah. and ended up, as it was meant to be, in a tiki yeah. hotel, right? Yeah, right. But the actual one you stayed in, let's look at that one next page. Yeah. So this originally was built as the Hanalei Hotel in the 1950s. And although it has lost a lot of its original detailing, because it had a very dramatic mm -hmm. tiki entryway, yeah. et cetera, yeah. it still does have a variety of small elements that mm -hmm. we'll be seeing some of. Mm -hmm. And pay attention to what you see on the roof line there, mm -hmm. because we're going to be referencing that exactly. a little later in the exactly. show, too. So let's go a little bit what you see in the middle next page, which is the centerpiece of the architecture is uh, the courtyard. So right. we can, yeah, there. And there we are. And so in this courtyard space, they, they're using a lot of the elements that are noted for in the tiki movement. So mm -hmm. we see the basalt rock, we see the carvings, and we see in the distance, there's a sort of a tiki hut, a right. hula hut. Let's take a closer look at that at the next page. Right, and there, there it is inside, and it's got as its light fixture, a blue glass ball, a mm -hmm. fishing float, mm -hmm. also the, the carvings that are on the railing, and then it's got a, imitation, excuse me, thatched roof mm -hmm. to mimic the way people build mm -hmm. things in the South Pacific. And it's all floating next page on another feature of Tiki, which is yeah. water, right? Here are these yeah. artificial lagoons. Yes. And then you got guardrails. They're rather sort of archaic and have these sort of totem poles. Yes, very as, much. As, as posts, right? Yes. So let's go to the next page. And, and sort of, they introduce another feature of figure when uh, my dear friend Phyllis Richardson, hi uh, Phyllis, was here uh, for her son. Her son charged her yeah. to bring something freaky tiki. Yeah. So we were walking around, and obviously these are these little statues or figures, yes. which you brought one, by the way. I here, did, I did. And, and, and uh, here them. it is. Let here me get is. him in space. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's a Moai. That's an Easter Island Moai. And uh -huh. I'll talk about how I got him in just a minute. All right, so let's look at a couple more of these in the next page. Right, and this is at the Bali High restaurant uh, elsewhere in San Diego. Mm -hmm. On the left is a big carving that you see or as, you, as you walk in, which doesn't really look like anything traditional. Mm -hmm. But on the right, next to where you check in to get your reservation, is a Marquesan-style tiki carving. Mm -hmm. Again, not a real thing, but inspired by mm -hmm. actual carvings from the Marquesas Islands, which mm -hmm. are in French Polynesia. So let's look at a couple of more. Um, next page. You took pictures of them, and I put them together in this sort of yeah. collage way. So there's different themes and different sort of, you know, messages and figures. Exactly. And, and, and it's all... And it, I think you always point out this is an inter interpretation sure of, of culture. This isn't this isn't truly historical. Yep. This isn't sort of culturally correct. Absolutely. But it's sort of an imagination of yes of something. Yeah. Right? And all of these different carvings were in the hotel. Uh -huh. Have been the Hanalei Hotel. Uh -huh. And some of them are inspired by actual ones. If you, you look yeah. at the carving on the right, that's mm -hmm. copied from Ku, mm -hmm. who is a Hawaiian god. Mm -hmm. The other ones, uh, who yeah, knows? Yeah. Yeah. And some were used in the next page for film sets. Yeah. Uh, you told me the one on the left. Yeah. And, and there are also some for sale, right, on the Absolutely. right. Absolutely. You can so see. So there were carvers who were selling their wares there. And as you said, on the left is a big carving that's a, a movie prop that was rented from a business that just rents props for mm -hmm. films mm -hmm. in Southern California. And that mm -hmm. one has actually appeared in some films. Uh-huh. So you took the next page is you took a picture of another display, which is sort of um, trying to map yeah. out in, in a cartoonish way, you know, try to give you an idea of sort of the Polynesian realm. Exactly. And sort of tries to theme. Tell us a little bit more about that. You told me some interesting yeah, it, stories it, about I that. I think that uh, what you see here is there's a little quasi-scientific yeah. type of 
representation. In other words, we're trying to teach you where these mm -hmm. come from. Mm -hmm. In reality, of course, this is just pop culture. Yeah, yeah. Then this is not truly scientific, nor is it really indicative of what these cultures are. Mm -hmm. But it does give a little uh, relevance so that mm -hmm. it isn't quite as lighthearted. We're yeah. trying to really teach you yeah, something. Yeah, 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 mm, yeah, yeah. I don't know it's about sort of that. Sort of edutainment. Exactly, yeah, right. edutainment is exactly uh -huh. it. This is in the Bali High restaurant All as right. well. And let's next pitch is one of these cute things you can buy. They're they're <laughs> really fun, right? And right. They, so there's they, a lot of original art for sale at Tiki uh -huh. Oasis. This is a sculpture that actually moves. Mm -hmm. It is electrified. Mm -hmm. The two the uh, two small torches on either end of the canoe mm -hmm. have lights in them, and mm -hmm. then these guys actually move their yeah. paddles. All so right. So as if they are tiki's paddling themselves in a ceremonial canoe. Uh -huh. And I think there there was one either previous one or coming up that steams out of the mouth. Oh, Maybe we go to the next page yeah. already. Is well, no, it, it was his eyes. Oh, no, there's you. That's there I am. Yeah, there yeah. I am at Tiki Look at Oasis. That figure. I know. My statue. God. You mean me or the <laughs> yeah, Moai? I mean you. I mean you. There I but am. But wasn't that the one that steamed or not? No, that one that steamed was outside. That okay. was a giant one. Okay. This guy was indoors in the. Um, in the lobby for you to take your pictures with. All right. And on the second, on the left, on the right hand side, we see this, as you were pointing out, um, these are modern day tiki mugs that are made yeah. using licensed named figures, uh -huh. our characters from Star Trek, from Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. from Marvel Comics. They're called geeky tikis. So it is a reinterpretation of something that was going on yeah, in the 50s yeah. mm -hmm. being done now for collectors. So quite the cross-pollination you know, of, of things. And and next one is something that you told me you had to buy. Yeah. Uh, but also on the right side, you told me that this is all original, authentic yeah. stuff from yeah. from the ticky heydays yeah. of you know the beginning and the middle of the last century. Correct. That's still around and people trade and sell, yeah. but of course, as people can already tell, you're working for that institution. You have to exactly. buy something from there. Right. right. So if you look on the left, you see that there's a, it, this is a display prop that it was one at one of the vendors mm -hmm. that says Property of Bishop Museum, mm -hmm. which is where I work in real life. And so because I encountered that, I said, okay, I have to buy something from this yeah. particular person. Yeah. So this is where I got my ceramic Moai vase. And as you pointed out, we should have put some flowers in it. But in any mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. there it is as a mm -hmm. beautiful piece of modern sculpture. Yeah. So I, I think I'm hungry at this point. So let's go and eat. Let's, let's go, go into the eat. restaurants let's where go. you went. Next page. Yeah. Right. So on the left is uh, part of the Bali High dining room. And on the right is the dining room in the hotel in which I stayed, which originally was called the Islands Restaurant and was very mysterious, evocative, and mm -hmm. very much like a theatrical set. Mm -hmm. Today, it's a plain room that just has some elements in it. So it lost a lot of its mystery, and it lost a lot of the atmosphere it originally had mm -hmm. when it was built in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it gets even more, you were at the beginning saying, a, a truly ticky restaurant has to be like dark, yeah. has to be like a you know, like a cave, yeah. it has to be really mysterious, yeah. sort of spooky. Yes. If I, I, I watch here, this says Tiki Tiki Monster. Yes, right? it does. So that's a sort of scary. That's right. You know. That's right. It, implications of danger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, threats. The jungle, right? The jungle, of the course. Jungle, yeah. Tigers, things like yeah. that. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. Um, which shows the restaurant and some of the light fixtures. And that reminded us of, of maybe a not so spooky place, which Correct. is our Honolulu Airport that we did a show about. Mm -hmm. And you see that same sort of Polynesian interpreted sort of light fixture, yeah. which also we referenced to the, in the top of the little picture, the Coco uh, Palm Resort, yeah. which has a similar chandelier. Yes. They're all sort of these artificial inspirations mm -hmm. of interpretation of Polynesian And culture. very dramatic looking. So uh, let's go back to the island here and, and see the abundance of tiki places we have here. These, is, this, these are some of many, right, or not? No. no, and that's one of the points. It's ironic that there, in fact, are not as many tiki places here as there used to be mm -hmm. or that people would expect. Mm -hmm. So in the picture here in the slide, we've got a picture of La Mariana restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, the waterfall there. And it is a beautiful place, and it's got a lot of atmosphere, but as others have pointed out, it's kind of a amalgamation of mm -hmm. lots of mm -hmm. artifacts mm -hmm. that originally came from many different mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. So it, it wasn't designed as a cohesive whole. Yeah. Um, on the bottom picture, however, we've got the Wailana Coffee Shop, which is on, most of it looks like the Jetsons, mm -hmm. as you said. Mm -hmm. But there is a small, round, tiki-themed bar yeah. to the right of that dining room, which yeah. still carries that on. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's 
Isn't kind that, of it. And these are the two only left. And the top picture is where we take our guest. That was our friend Will Bruder when we took him there. And in the evening with Don, um, you know, that's the place we take them to show off yeah. the exotic mm -hmm. legacy we have, which is sort of a little, you know, We've lost scary. A lot of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Especially if, because I travel too, and the next yeah. picture is now I'm going to make you feel bad, even yeah. more bad, because in Munich, <laughs> um, we have in the most upscale, expensive uh, hotel in yes. its basement, yes. there is an institution that was one of your sponsors on the conference, That's which right. is Trader Vix. Mm -hmm. And there is one of the few ones in the world that's been there since the 70s. Yeah. And you will be jealous if you go there one day. You know, and well, I was lucky enough to have my best friends around me and our tropical tourist expert, Suzanne, um, who was with us. And we celebrated in true Tiki style. That's right. right. And I think I see, you know, someone there in the she back is. Who's, That's right. who's who, coming. Well, I, I can see there's a picture and, down at the bottom of I this see, lovely lady sitting in the peacock chair I, I, holding up the I menu. Guess. My goodness, get down and, here and, so they can see you. And what do you have in here? You. Oh, for me? Yes. Uh -huh. For me? I, unwrap it here Oh, now. my God. This is, this is totally. And look. There's the menu. There's the There's menu. There's the menu. And you got to learn German because of a course. German, right? <laughs> so it's got, but it's it's in English. Mm -hmm. It is my pleasure to offer you these drinks. Mm -hmm. But then the drinks and everything are well. They have English names: mm -hmm. Scorpion and mm -hmm. Menahuni Juice, mm -hmm. Suffering Bastard. And there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Sunday. very smug. Well, I have. Look you. at the cool things I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you gave us nice gifts as well. You have. <laughs> Old money from Germany. That's and right. You have this piece is exactly from uh, Suzanne's date of birth. So thank you for oh, that. Well, that was sort of our it, uh, it, returning the favor. It is. Right? It is. Thank it's worthless much. money because it's had, it has no, no value no, anymore. It's, it's pre euro, no, but in any case, it's very valuable. I got thanks, the better deal. Thanks, okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> so let's let's move on here. Next picture. Another feature uh, of Tiki is is water. And, and, and this is the hotel lobby of the hotel yes, you stayed in, right? Correct. And you can see that they use the giant clamshells as mm -hmm. part of the as mm -hmm. part of the waterfall. And the giant clamshells are now endangered. But mm -hmm. for a long time in the 50s, 60s, they were all kind of all over the place. Yeah. It's this beautiful exotic thing. And in the bungalows, mm -hmm. the special high price mm -hmm. bungalows of the and, of the Kauai Surf. Yeah. They and, were and, used And you as, being from here, you gotta tell me because I keep walking on the beach and when is the best time to find them here on the beach? Well, um, you're gonna have to dive very deep okay. to find them. Okay. Keep going till you find yeah. them. Yeah, and I think in, in our um, uh, show about the Cocoa Palm Resort, we said they're actually from Tahiti. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're so, not they're not from Hawaii. All right, all right. So uh, <laughs> another version of water uh, next page here. Here is since we uh, this is in the courtyard, another version of water yeah. that's very familiar to us here in Hawaii, right? right? We got a couple of these as natural features. Yes, we do. And here is this artificial waterfall, which you pointed out with a lava rock wall yeah. as the background. Right. So there's Hawaii again. And the next page is sort of we always have the tradition of phasing out with some uh, mm -hmm. polemic propositions right. here. And the top right, since we just had Suzanne here, this is a shot of her tropical tourism so show. And this is her visiting one of the other tropics, which was Brazil. So yeah. we Germans, and, and one of the main Tiki scholars we have to mention yeah. is a fellow is, German. Is a fellow right? German, He's Sven a Kirsten. Yours. There you go. And Sven is actually very important because he really started the entire Tiki mm -hmm. revival mm -hmm. and the reexamination of it, mm -hmm. uh, which he did in Southern California because, like you, mm -hmm. he always wanted to move to the USA. Mm -hmm. He did. He was fascinated mm -hmm. by it. And mm -hmm. so, you Germans, yeah. we have to thank you for many things. We're crazy about uh, Tiki. You're crazy. You know, I that's know that. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> So being crazy, here are some propositions that you've been examining. Right. So here are, here are things that uh, some of uh, uh, Martin's classes have done in their, in their work. Uh, at the top is Primitiva 1, mm -hmm. which has water flowing down through the center of mm -hmm. this tall cylindrical building. Mm -hmm. Primitiva 2 on the bottom has water curtains like the waterfall that we just showed you mm -hmm. um, as if they were walls or exterior mm -hmm. exterior walls. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the free floating stairway mm -hmm. on the right, which is very much like the tiki or mid-century era. Mm -hmm. They're sort of skeletal mm -hmm. and, and not uh, built in as yeah, very heavy-duty yeah. things. And then down at the bottom, that's like um, 
That, well, those are those are an exterior wall, wooden wall that had uh, what's it got on it? Yeah, it's a tropical textile project, and yeah. the staircase is in the middle. And uh, just like we love to drink, uh, you know, water, I think the Volvic water. Yeah. It implies in the name yep. that it's yes. filtered through volcanic exactly. stone, right? Exactly. And that was the proposition in that building that you basically have the rainwater catchment on the right. roof and you basically filter it through a rock wall, a lava rock wall in the center. And so again, all these projects are basically taking a more evolving mm -hmm. uh, take on, on culture and, and using water and not just decoratively. Uh, but performatively. And also, right. too, that's the way we get our drinking water. Mm -hmm. That exactly. is mimicking the way the natural f flow of water exactly. through the basalt exactly. is to, to yeah. get the water we drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So our, our, our basically uh, encouragement is not to be too overly nostalgic, yeah. but sort of be aware of uh, the ticket culture as something that has to evolve and not to be stagnant or mm -hmm. even worse, to go back in time, which we unfortunately experience, and yes. let's get the next page. Right. We already talked about that, but now I took another uh, close-up <laughs> picture when I was at the airport last time, because uh, the airport, Osipov having given it a very clean, modern That's look, right. and all of a sudden it's growing these horns, right? right? Right, and they look kind of like the, the roof treatment of the hotel that I was staying at, mm -hmm. but those were from an older time period. Yeah. And I think you and I both are not particularly happy about grafting these artificial things onto no. what was originally a cohesive building yeah, yeah. to put on this kind of Polynesian pop, yeah, yeah, primitive yeah. sort of faux pra, canoe prow yeah, slash yeah, yeah. rafter. And I think the reason is one of the reasons is because you can probably be philosophical about the authenticity of fakeness yeah. and talking about way back that yes. were an authentic ancient. But they were done because materials were still pure yes. and local, and you know, it, so there was some authenticity, some truth to them. Whereas, you know, as we diagnosed in our show a couple of shows ago, we, we took pictures of when this thing, you know, was going mm -hmm. up, and this is all like layered and layered and layered of invasive material, that's right. and it's basically a fake front. It's just yeah. makeup, yeah. you know, over something that's truly not from here. Right. This is all stuff, you know, from the mainland. So this is really right. like Disney-ish, you know, completely, Olani, completely, uh, completely. Making I agree up, with you, right? Yes. And and talking about, you know, being open about the evolution of of culture. The next picture here, your conference also had mm -hmm. had other exhibits that were less obviously related to Tiki, right, as this Right, one. but there were also old cars from mm -hmm. the mid-century mm -hmm. period, from the time period that we were talking about that was being celebrated here. Yeah. And I think that the cars of that time period, as you can see here, were sculptural as well. Yeah. They have these protuberances, they have mm -hmm. funny forms, yeah. things sticking out of them that go along with the type of tiki architecture mm -hmm, they mm -hmm, were doing mm -hmm, then. But yeah. well, we don't make cars like this anymore. No. So we don't necessarily want to make buildings the way mm -hmm, they were making mm -hmm, in those mm -hmm. days either. Yeah, good, good point. And again, uh, me competing with you of yeah. my summer experiences, next picture, we went to a car show as well <laughs> here. One of the main <laughs> events in my hometown in Hanover is American Car Show. And my <laughs> best friend Stefan and Kirsten, they took us there. And so we were also exposed to talking sort of freaky tiki and monster. We right. found this truly 70s woody wagon. Yep. And there were these stickers in, in, the, in the back window that says Hawaii zombie hunting permit. Yeah, that's right. So, so that, that is sort of interesting, right? That's yeah. certainly not traditionally no, it is hunt. not. Hawaiian no, it's not. take on, but it takes a different, interesting route, well, right? One of the things we were talking about was that there's this amalgamation of tropical mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cultures all put together uh -huh. for the tiki thing. So yeah, you've yeah. got the Caribbean, which is where zombies come from. Mm -hmm. You've got maybe Brazil, you've got Mexico, you've got the Caribbean, mm -hmm. and then you've got the Pacific Islands. Mm -hmm. And everybody sort of lumps them together and says, mm -hmm. oh, that's a tropical yeah. paradise. Yeah. And let's go to the next page and add something. Let's add Cuba to that, right? <laughs> let's add Cuba to that. There's a license plate that I saw at Tiki Oasis that I believe says Cuba Tiki. Mm -hmm. And then you, of all things, in Germany, yeah. see a Volkswagen van made in Germany that's then displayed as though it was in California. Exactly. But then over the wheel, it says Hang Lu, which is switches. truly a Hawaiian term. Right, right. So it's, again, this mix and blend of things. Right. And we're phasing out with a project that um, next page or last page yeah. here. What is that? 
Well, uh, I know that that is your son's mm, project, mm -hmm. and it is a shave ice wagon. It is like a lunch wagon, and it's being created in Germany. Mm -hmm. And he's what he's done is, because his father is an architect, um, he's done a really cool job with this, and he's done a lot of detailing on it, and it's called Aloha Shave Ice, which presumably people in Germany will understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it painted it in a rainbow of colors and put these exterior uh, vertical, vertical boards on, that make it look a little bit like some of those tiki things mm -hmm. that we've been mm -hmm. seeing. And again, this is a family project. You can see his brother and his girlfriend there, and his dad was involved, as you already said. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's sort of this, uh, you know, obviously fascination with Hawaii. Yep. But it's not in an ancient way. No. It's not about sort of this yes, way. No, it's, not. it's about a, a newer tradition, Correct. which is shaved ice, which you taught me is is fairly old too, from the 20s or 30s. Yes. yes. And Japanese brought it. Absolutely. Right? It is something that the and, shave ice machines were made in Japan. Yeah. And it's a good example for that. We don't need to get stuck in the ancient Correct. forever. Right. We're cool enough here, literally and figuratively, where you talk about ice, right, to evolve and, right. and keep that sort of richness and value of of tiki notion alive right. and and evolve that right exactly an interesting side note was when joey was going for startup funds from the state he ended up uh being uh talking to the to the guy there who is a historian who was wearing an Aloha shirt <laughs> and who has visited, guess what, the Bishop, Bishop Museum, Museum many times. So things come full circle. <laughs> I know. And this is in Germany, my Exactly, dear. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we're at the end of the show. Yes, we um, we're going to see each other in, in two weeks to talk about something interesting that we called Archie Nature and the relationship between architecture and nature. Mm -hmm in some very pressing ways of some things that happen here, that they tear down old buildings and they want to build new ones and then they yep. don't and stuff like that. Yes. And in between next week, we're going to have our new Dean of Architecture, Dr. William Chapman, who Excellent. is very uh, close to Buddy us. Buddy of mine. Uh, pretty much talking about similar issues and how our School of Architecture could sort of evolve yeah. along these lines. So till then, stay ticky. Bye-bye. <laughs>